Morning guys, this is Monday morning and this is an extension that's seen better days as you can see and it's coming down. Well why are you telling me that? You may be wondering. Well the reason is because if we come around to this side of it and if I show you this crack here, this here is the entrance to a beehive. It's got a really well established colony in it that's been there for several years, possibly decades. And it's quite cold at the moment because it's half past eight in the morning, but a bit later on today, if we came here and I didn't touch anything, you'd see bees coming in and out. And when you come past in the summer, it's a really, really, really active hive. But unfortunately for them, but fortunately for me, they need rehoming. So that's what this video is going to be all about. Now, if you follow my channel, you'll know that I'm an extremely inexperienced beekeeper. I have a colony of bees, but I'm very much still learning. Well, I've got a much more experienced beekeeper coming to meet me here. And one of the key takeaways from this, if you are a new beekeeper, I strongly, strongly urge you to join your local association because the community and sense of um, hive mind amongst the community within um, associations is phenomenal. So my local association has a Facebook group and I literally, I just mentioned what I was doing and said I could really use some help. And I've had a flood of people volunteering to help. So what I've got down here is a brother-in-law. Hello. <laughs> Jason, who you've met before, he's come to help me. Got a hive and we're just putting together some frames because what we'll do, and you'll see all this, hopefully, like I say, it's my first time attempting anything like this, so hopefully I'll be able to do some decent filming, but um, we're gonna be governed by the behavior of the bees and my guide, if you want, for, for want of a better word, you know, the, the guy who's gonna be far more experienced than me. And within the hives, if you keep bees, you'll already know, but you have these frames. Within this is where the bees build their combs and they will, in the wild they'll do that all themselves but when we domesticate bees we tend to give them a head start and we would give them something called foundation which I'll show you now which is basically a wax that gives them a head start saves them well it does two things firstly it saves them producing all their own wax so they can put that energy into the hive health and producing honey but it also sort of helps them dictate where we want them because of course we want them in these frames so they're really easy to take out well we're going to be moving this colony of bees on the combs so we're not going to be using that foundation we're going to be using empty empty frames like this and we're going to be putting the foundation covered in bees in here and holding it in place with wire or elastic bands so i've seen it done online never been involved myself but uh today's the day for me to have my first attempt so I'm going to set a ladder up now so we're all ready. The chap who's coming to help me is bringing some specialist kit, including a bee hoover, which is something I've never used. So, uh, yeah, that's where we are. So Chris has turned up, who's my expert for the day, and he's got this amazing device on his phone, which is a, um, a thermal imaging camera. I just think that's amazing. You know, might be underneath us. There's three degrees difference. Uh... Yeah, there they are. I'm hoping they're there because in my head yeah. they formed beautiful frame-sized combs in between the joists. <laughs> so we're all sorted up and ready to go up on the roof, I think. So I can't tell you how appreciative I am to have Chris here with me. Um, I think I would have been incredibly nervous at the very least, and I think some would say, probably Chris would say, incredibly foolish to have tried it on my own. But uh, that's where I would have been today because one day, one way or another, this extension has to come down this week to make room for a new one. So I'm gonna set the camera up back here and uh, I'm not sure how much it'll capture. We're gonna to have to just work as we work and uh, we'll see how it goes. Couldn't be in a better spot, could it? Can you see it, Jace?
Yeah. Full disclosure, I'm awful at <laughs> Scotty Queen, just so you're aware, I'll do my best. Right. This has got to be, would you say, a good size, insofar as, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be improved, I mean, like, yeah. look at the size of it. Yeah. Like, we're looking at, what, sales and 2,000 bees already. Yeah, yeah. And that goes all the way down. Yeah. Way down. You can see the main bit in here, obviously, where the honey is happening. Yes. And, and just that, that middle bit's going to be Perfect. where they are. Yeah. So the end bits here are probably going to be an awful lot of good. So we kind of ignore everything. Yeah, but what we do there. is we'll work our way that way. Okay. Um, we just got to keep an eye out a little to just see where they they could run and hide, you know. Okay. And this brittle comb that's just sort of. Yeah, that's just rubbish. I'll oh, just throw that away. Yeah, just chuck it in a bucket behind you. Oh, sorry. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> We're on your side, guys. Down that side. Oh, good love. We've got eggs, got fruit. Hang on. What? You got that? Yeah, I'm just doing it. Put it in. 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 Put well, you tell me, you know. He's got his eye on that, that's why I said, you know, that's good yeah, to have his eye on it. That's fine, you can do that. Yeah. Right, we'll pop it down on that. And then get out, so I get a banded frame. Yes, please. Right, so what we need to do, we look at that. Yeah. Right. So we'll cut down there, and we'll lose that there. Yeah, and that'll go in the bucket. Yeah. Cut along there. Yeah. Would you want? Yeah, yeah. You are going to cut a few, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. So just square it off to the bottom of that. So now, what we need to do. There we go. Brilliant! <laughs> get it in your hive. I'm so excited by this. Right, get the First one. Yeah, I completely understand.
There's no reason to do anything other than that, is there? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. You can see this one here. Oh, let's just put it away. And you can see that little pink gland. Yeah. That's that's how it's giving off a stink. Yeah, but that's you can smell lemongrass. Which is why they bait the hive with them. I think she's already in there. In here? Yeah. That uh, wing flapping. Yeah. Apparently, is a really good sign. <laughs> That's all right. It's basically them, well, we hope, it should be them saying, you know, this is home now and it's calling everyone else in. For now at least that's it job done so we've done all we can do now there's my hive sat up there as close as we could get it to the location of the entrance to the hive where they were used to going to and uh, you'll see them buzzing around I'm not seeing quite as much activity going in and out of the hive as you know we would hope for but it's still early days so we saw the Queen while we were working on one of the frames, not one of the frames, sorry, one of the bits of comb. We believe she's in the hive, that's the main thing. All we can do now is leave them to it. So we've done as much as we can. So that hive's gonna sit there now and then tomorrow I will strap it up and move it to its new home. So I filmed all that on Monday. Today is Wednesday. So I left the hive there Monday evening, all day Tuesday, and then after dark, Tuesday evening, so yesterday, we moved it and put it in my apiary, which is where my hives are going to live. I haven't really had a chance to check on it properly. I popped up there after work tonight. There wasn't a lot of activity, but there was some activity. So that's all we can do now. Fingers crossed, I won't uh, touch them. I'll let them get on with it. And then hopefully in a week or two, we'll be able to open it up and just check on their health. But uh, that's where we are. So. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, all of that usual stuff. And also come and check out the podcast, the Self Sufficient Hub podcast every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Thanks for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you all always for all the amazing support I get and all the amazing comments. I love each and every one of them and I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you ever so much and I will speak to you real soon.